Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome to video number 11 of PLR Powerhouse, which is entitled Affiliate Success. In this video, we're going to be setting up the affiliate program, uh, the vendor that will allow us to uh, put a sa the proper sales links on our site. We'll go over why that's so important. And in addition, we'll also, also show you where to look for affiliate programs that you can also monetize to make extra money with. So there's a lot to get over. Let's go ahead and get started on this video. Affiliates. What are they? An affiliate is someone who promotes someone else's product and takes commissions on the conversions. It's a win-win relationship for both parties, to put it mildly. Uh, if you have someone promoting for you, you're, you're almost guaranteed to make more sales. That's why uh, an, getting an affiliate, a new affiliate who agrees to uh, promote your product is always is always a great thing to have. In fact, many many successful product owners and creators focus very very hard on getting as many affiliates as possible for their products and their product launches. And you should do the same. If you are able to to cure affiliates who will uh, get behind your product and give it their backing, you're guaranteed to succeed. It's a win-win relationship for everyone involved. In addition, if you're on the other side of the coin, if you're the one uh, promoting someone else's products, you can uh, make quite a bit of money doing that. You're going to, like, all you have to do is just pre-sell the people who are on your email list, send them to the highly converting affiliate offering, and let them take care of selling the people. And you get money just for linking people to that product offer. It's simple. So uh, no matter which way you look at it, affiliate relationships are great to develop and great to have. So uh, you can choose to go two routes. You can become an affiliate or you can recruit an affiliate. In this video, we'll show you how to do both. We're going to start with the first one. Uh, we'll show you how to become an affiliate and promote other people's offers. So the first thing that we need to do is find affiliate programs that you can use for your own purposes. Now, uh, probably my favorite one out of all of them is ClickBank. ClickBank is an online vendor that's very well known and very well respected in the internet marketing community. All you're doing is promoting other people's products. There are lots of highly converting products on the site for you to choose from. And when you do choose from them, you can uh, choose to promote them in all sorts of several different ways. A lot of the, a lot of the more organized products, the more, uh, the more favorable products will often have something called a JV page, an affiliate page in other words. An affiliate page is where uh, they give you pre-made tools that you can use to promote their products, such as banners and emails and all sorts of things that like, you can just plug into your website, just plug into your email list. You barely have to lift a finger, and you'll see affiliate conversions right away. So you can look at other affiliate products that vendors are selling on ClickBank and promote for them. Now, once you've located the right product to promote, you can get affiliate links for your subscribers and readers to click on. So let's go ahead and check out ClickBank right now. Pop open. Uh, this is the ClickBank Marketplace. Let me show you what the home page looks like. This ClickBank home page uh, it's popular for both affiliates and vendors. Now uh, what you see here is one of the most uh, well-respected earning sources of income on the internet. There's a lot of people that make a living off ClickBank alone because it has simply so many products for an affiliate to promote. So if you want to find a product here that's related to your niche, whether that leash is uh, anything from dating to sports to to cooking to uh, to diving to scuba diving to anything you want. Literally every niche, every pursuit in life, this uh, website will probably have an affiliate product that you can market to people. So, for example, if you built a list of people who wanted to learn how to cook, 
give them a, instead of a PLR video lead magnet, let's say we created a cookbook lead magnet of easy and fast recipes. Now you could come to ClickBank and you have all those people on your list who opted in to get that free uh, product, to get that free lead magnet. Well, you can uh, start selling, I'm sorry, you can start promoting affiliate products of like taking your cooking to the next level, etc. How to become a world class cook in just three weeks, some kind of product like that on ClickBank.com. And uh, people will start buying it because, of course, considering that they're they already opted in to learn how to cook, you're giving them valuable content and valuable offers in the very same niche. And when you give them offers in the very same niche, people are bound to convert, and you're bound to start making money through ClickBank. That's really all there is to it. Now, uh, we can definitely apply this to our internet marketing niches and our PLR product niches. It's no different. We just come to ClickBank. We go to the marketplace. So after you uh, sign up to become a member of ClickBank as an affiliate, you then go to the marketplace, where this is the most important place on the internet. Now they have stuff in every single category, from arts and entertainment, like fi film and television, humor, magic tricks, to employment, to jobs, all sorts of good stuff. They have food, wine, and cooking, fiction, to games. Uh, mobile development, to politics, there's health and fitness, there's uh, software and services, the spirituality and self-help, and everything in between. You literally cannot go wrong with this website. Now, what we want and what I want for this particular, uh, for this particular course, of course, is a PLR niche product. So what we're going to do now is find affiliate links from a product that we deem worthy that we can assert to our, uh, start asserting into our lead magnet and into our uh, autoresponder emails. So if I was to type in something related to PLR video payday, let's say video. Now let's see here. Uh, tons, tons, tons of results. 488 pages worth of results. So how do you know uh, what to go for? How do you know what's worthwhile? Well, uh, ClickBank kind of does that for you. There's a value, uh, a variable in the ClickBank marketplace from the filters here. Uh, first, you should look at this filters menu right quick. It's a, uh, You can sort products by gravity, average uh, dollars per sale, average rebuild total, meaning the refunds, uh, they add it to marketplace, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But this right here, gravity, is the most important filter of all. Excuse me. So if you notice, uh, products will have values of 2.81 for this gravity, this product's gravity. 5.11 for this product's gravity. This, this uh, product has a gravity of zero, which is not good, and it's so on. So these are all pretty low gravities. Let's say we're not going to bother with anything under 20 because what gravity represents is how many affiliates in general are having success with promoting this product. So if you have a product with a high gravity of say 100 or above, um, that's a superstar product. A product with a gravity of 20 is like what I call the bare floor for something worthwhile to promote. Now this product, iPad Video Lessons, has an outstanding gravity of 196.92, meaning uh, that's a relatively how many affiliates in comparison to the, to the values of 2 and 5. That's how many affiliates are having success with this product. So if a, a former product that we looked at had a gravity of 2, that's an extremely low, uh, it's an extremely low variable, whereas a, a gravity of 196.2 means Affiliates are killing it with this thing. Now, uh, here's something that looks a bit attractive. The average money per sale is $268. That's really nice. And the gravity is relatively high for such a high sale uh, price. So 42 that looks really attractive. It's a video marketing software product. Video marketing is what uh, my course was all about. PLR video, pro PLR video payday. Now take a look at this. This is how you build your lists on autopilot. 
this looks like something my uh, folks would be involved in, my folks would be interested in. So if you do find a product that you like, once you do, you want to see, click the promote button, give it a tracking ID. A tracking ID is basically a, a distinguisher that you can write for yourself so you can know uh, if I got all my hops, if all I got all my clicks from the tracking guy, tracker number one, that means th the first link that I'm using on page number one is really converting. Or not, it's not the link itself that you need to worry about, but it's the page. You re if so, if you get a lot of hops from page two, you realize page two is converting well. So I'm just going to give it uh, a tracking idea of tracker one. Bam, and you have. That's your affiliate link. Now, whenever somebody clicks on your affiliate link right there, they're taken to the uh, Easy Video Player page. So I can drop that in my uh, my autoresponder emails and in my lead magnet book, whatever I want. People click, they're taken right to it. So that's that. Again, ClickBank is a wonderful resource. It's definitely an awesome one. So when I let's take a quick break and fast forward ahead to the next part of the video. Okay, so next we've we just finished uh, setting up the product that we want to get on ClickBank. So that's how we find affiliate products that are worth promoting. But now, let's focus on setting up an affiliate program so pe other people can promote for you. Now, this affiliate program that I'm about to mention also doubles as a payment processor that you can use instead of PayPal. In other words, it just takes care of all payments and sends the money straight to your PayPal account. Uh, no muss and no fuss. It's really simple and it's very convenient. It's called JVZoo. JVZoo is where you can find a big a hub of affiliates and uh, other people that are interested in promoting for you. It offers instant payments to both you and your affiliates. It's fast, simple, and quick, so you don't need to worry about dividing percentages between you and your affiliates. So for example, if you offered 75% commission to an affiliate and you got a sale, you'd have to give them three-fourths of that. But you don't. Have, but with JVZoo, you don't need to worry about chopping up into calculations and all the dirty work. It does the dirty work for you. And it just pays affiliates and JVZoo pays you straight to your PayPal account. So it's a great place for you to go to meet and network with affiliates and it's a great place where you can make contacts, meet other like-minded individuals who are, want to sell online. Let me just drop in a quick note here. ClickBank is also a place where you can be a vendor and where you can have an affiliate program and where affiliates can come and find you. However, that is on a it's like that's for like a huge scale. So if you have an enormous, massive product that you want to, that you're really determined on providing support for, you need to make a you need to make a JV page. You need to make banners, all that good stuff. I would hold off on trying to work with ClickBank until you're a big time uh, product owner, because otherwise the requirements could be pretty demanding. So what we're going to do is set up the product on JVZoo right now. We'll go through how to create payment buttons, the product registration, all that good stuff. It's fast and it's simple. So let's go ahead and get started. So the URL is jvzoo.com. Now here's the place. This is what it looks like. You're going to want to click become a JVZoo seller. There are no out of pocket costs to do it. You won't be charged any fees. It's great. So let's say, oops, I'm sorry about that. You want to say sign up now. So let's start entering your information. In this case, we'll say, now I'm going to put my password as that. Yes. Accept and agree to JVZoo's terms of use. The privacy policy. Select your uh, select your country. Say register. Now 
Now they give you a quick uh, pitch for get response on top of that. But you don't need to worry about that from now. So what you need to do is check your email address to activate your account. So I'm going to sign in with that uh, account. Sign out this one. It's another one I have. And type hbashir.wf. Just a minute while I enter my information. Go and get the. Go on and get that email. Okay, so that's what the JVZoo link will be just click on it and it will take you to JVZoo. Uh, JVZoo will also ask you to verify your PayPal information and verify your W-9 form if you're a United States citizen so go ahead and get both of those things taken care of there it's pretty simple and straightforward uh, JVZoo will walk you through the process entirely now once your account is fully functional like mine it's time to add a product you do that by going to the sellers dashboard click there and click add a product it's free now uh, you're gonna say allow sales yes show a marketplace yes we're going to set the launch date and time I'm going to set it for tomorrow just pick an arbitrary date I'll actually make it the 11th your product will not be visible in the marketplace until this time now my product's name is PLR video payday and is at seven ninety nine currency US dollar. I am offering the commissions offered. It depends on you. If you want to build, if you want to build a email list very quickly, you offer a hundred percent commission on something. That way, people will be inclined to promote it for you, and you'll start seeing sales. Now, if you want to make money. You offer more like 50% commission on something that's going to attract less affiliates, but you'll make more of the money that you do make. You'll keep more of the money that you do make. Quantity, you leave empty for unlimited. Now, if this was a subscription product, by the way, or if it costs multiple payments, you would check that box, but for me, it doesn't. So we'll skip that over. Support email address, give it one that's worthwhile. The landing page. Uh, you want the squeeze page to be right there uh, but for us we're just going to uh, fast forward to clicking on the sales page that way you can make sales now next you're going to want to choose sales page URL again this one sorry about that made a mistake landing page squeeze page is this one and this is the sales page URL now the delivery method will be a download page but you could also do protected download which is uh, good to have if you want to for uh, if you want affiliates to do that instead, the de protected download means that JVZ protects your product. No one else can get access to it unfairly. So you can roll with the protected download as well. In fact, that's what we're going to do. Uh, so when JVZ's affiliates send traffic to your product, the buyers will be taken to a protected download instead of a uh, download page. Time period of 30 days. Like my product eligible for product of the day affiliate status do you want to approve uh, affiliates automatically do you want to check them over inspect them before you approve them or do you want to not allow affiliates whatsoever and just say manual approval let's see So, sorry for the confusion. Uh, I cite myself out. The landing page will be the sales page, as will the sales page. We're taking them straight to the paid product. Now, archive product, yes or no. 
uh, if you archive a product, it removes the product from the dashboard, which we don't want. So I'm going to say save product. Looks good. Oh, on the side up here, JVZ Marketplace. Just say PLR video payday. Okay, so uh, the description would be PLR video payday. The primary category, you want to select something that's related to it. Uh, let's go with you know, marketing slash. We're going to pick the one that looks right. Just a moment while I look these over. I would say need specific marketing. Additional category. You uh, look through all the categories, pick the one that works for you. Video marketing. Okay. Now keywords. PLR, video, payday, cash, private label rights. Integrate with autoresponder, yes indeed. And in fact what we're going to do is make a separate list for affiliate customers. So once you log into your email autoresponder, I recommend creating a new list. So what we're going to do is just that. I'm going to click on my list and create a new list. We want to create a new list entirely for a PLR video buyer affiliates. That's right, PLR video. Uh, so because we want to separate, we want to separate subscribers from the squeeze page and buyers from the uh, affiliate page. The reason from buyers from JVZoo as an affiliate program. The reason we want to do that is because uh, buyers are always more valuable than subscribers, and anyone who buys on JVZoo will get opted into your list. That's the way it works. I highly recommend setting up a second separate email list just for uh, JVZoo's buyers. So I'm going to go ahead and get that done very quickly. So we've already been over this process before. I'm not doing anything new or unusual, just setting up a basic list. This one I'm going to say turn it off because it's just buyers. Uh, we're going to say confirmation page will be the download page. Even though they'll already get it from JVZoo as well. I'm turning it the opt-in off because unlike the lead magnet, there's nothing uh, we can, they've already purchased so they'll be on the list by default. That means they want to be there. And in addition, uh, in addition, you don't have uh, leverage to make them go through the opt-in. So that's that. And now that we have a list name, let's go back to JVZoo. Aweber.com, and let's also make a <clears throat> web form for this one. Same as again, nothing unusual. Gotta put this in the center. Get instant access, even though it doesn't really matter. In this case, this form won't be seen. It's just a code that uh, JBZoo needs. can leave all that actually let's put oops let me put the product download link again just in case someone needs this. so now we're gonna save the web form 
how we're going to get the form ID. So the web form ID is six nine five uh, nine three eight six three seven. That is where if you looked on a JavaScript snippet in this section of the code is where you'll find your web form ID. So you can just insert that there. Now uh, the rest of the things are pretty basic. Make a dime sale. Dime sales are pretty much incrementing prices. For us, we want you to keep it set, so let's, we're not going to do that. Uh, and you don't need to do any of the other options which, in which they're set up a JV, mm -hmm. set up a one-time offer, external programming integration. We don't need any of that. Excuse me. So click Save Products. Now it says uh, upload product files, which is what we need to do. Let us choose our product. PLR video payday finalized. Like upload. So upload your PLR product, the one you created, just like you should be able to do. Uh, your sales page should have a JV Zoo buy button on it. So that's the next thing we're going to do. If you click buy buttons, they will give you the, all the buy buttons that you could ask for. And then you can just choose between them. Which one do you like? It's up to you. Uh, I'm going to pick this one. I like this one. Okay, so this is the buy button that I want to use for $7.99. That's the price that I've chosen for this product. So go to Composer and open up your sales page. Click Run. Alright, we're going to open it up. Now here's where we're going to insert a table, just like previously. Let's do it another way. Table insert table a one by one. Oops, I'll do that. That's not what I intended. Insert a table one by one. Uh, let's give it a four hundred pixels. I'm sorry, three hundred pixels. Wait. So depends on the size of your page. So let's play a string of zero. Now it's time to insert some HTML. From here, copy, paste that. Okay, looks good. And that's all you need to do to insert your buy now button on the page. That's simple. It's uh, really doesn't get any more difficult than that. So click save. We got your buy now button and it's ready to go. So let's return back to the presentation here. <coughs> that is JVZoo in a nutshell. Now also, in addition to getting a, in addition to the selling account that you got, consider getting an affiliate account with JVZoo and finding the products that you want to promote in your own emails just like what we've done with Clickbank. Now uh, before we wrap this video up there's some final tasks to do. We've already placed a buy now button on the site but you should also insert affiliate and sales page links inside of your lead magnet. So to give an example let's open up the lead magnet. Oops, wrong folder. So find wherever your lead magnet is saved. And uh, don't hesitate to drop in links. For example, uh, this is a really simple process. Just write, I'd write PLR video. Special offer.
click here. Uh, you should want to put random links inside, hyperlink it. Give them a link to your sales page. And that's all there is to it. So that's the link to your sales page. Just put it in the middle of the text, right in the randomly in the middle. Uh, people will click on it and they'll be taken to it. You could also, for example, uh, write special offer. Check this out. Click. here and in this one I'm instead of, instead of linking to my sales page again I'm going to link to Clickbank and that product hyperlink it like before click bold boom done so that's really all there is to it uh, into <clears throat> inserting links that you need inside your product I'm just get any more complicated than that so to wrap up, get JVZoo set up, uh, choose an affiliate program on ClickBank to promote it if you want to do that, and then insert your sales page and affiliate links in your autoresponder also if you want to put it in your email as well, and your lead magnet. And don't forget to put the buy now button in your uh, sales page as well. So that's that, and I will see you in the next video.